So welcome to our second video for TMPG Yang Video Mastering Works 5. Uh, today we're going to be talking about normal mode. Uh, if you've ever used any of our products before, you'll probably be familiar with this. Um, let's just start it. We'll select our files. You can select multiple files here. We'll open these. Clicking yes here will bypass the clip edition window, which usually pops up. Okay, so here we are. This is the normal mode window. Uh, as you can see, these are our clips. We have our three clips here in a list. And over here, we have options to add more files. Over here are buttons for editing. You can edit your clips, you can add filters, you can batch edit if you want to apply um, filters to all these clips. You can do that with this button. And the transition editor allows you to add transitions between clips. And here is a slideshow functions. Uh, if you add still photos, you can create a slideshow. And these are just they allow you to move uh, the clips in if you don't want to drag and drop your clips. So here's the move down. You can move down the selected clip, move it back up, delete clip, clear. This is the undo button. This is a redo button. And this will let you go to the timeline editor. Uh, but once you go to timeline, you can't come back to normal mode. So let's just leave that for now. Okay, so we have our clips here, and as I mentioned a little while ago, you can drag and drop them to reorder your clips in this list. Now you might be saying, why would I want to do that? Basically, when you output your, your file, you can choose to output all of these clips as one movie. So, if you wanted to edit your video or edit multiple videos together into one movie, this is how you can do it. You would just import all your clips, put them in the right order, add transitions between them, and output it as one movie file, one video. Or you have the option of outputting each clip individually as its own separate file. It's really up to you. So that's what you can do with this list. Let's take a look at our transitions. So if you want to add a transition between this first clip and this second clip, you can select the first clip and then hit the transition editor button. This will open the transition editing window and you can select your transition type from this list kind of extensive. If you want to have a visual example, you can click on this catalog button. It opens this, and you can sort of preview what that transition looks like. OK, so let's select that one. Here you can select your transition duration, how long it's to transition from the first video to the next video. Basically, your videos will overlap for this amount of time. Once we're happy with that, we can say OK. And as you can see here, it shows the transition, duration, and type. So and now, here's a little tip. Uh, you might want a transition into your first video. And currently, you can't do that. Currently, we can't do that because the transition can only be applied at the end of a clip. So in order to put a transition at the beginning of this clip, we have to create a clip to put in front of it. And you can do that by going to Source Wizard and selecting this option from a color mat or pattern. And this will allow you to create a clip composed of a solid color or if you wanted you can choose a pattern 
based on a picture or an image that you have on your computer or a gradation like this and you could choose different colors to create a gradation but let's do a basic black color mat we'll say OK and so what this basically does is it creates a clip that is just a solid color and this is two seconds long and we'll move that to the front we could add a transition to that one we'll do a simple crossfade say OK now crossfade might not be the best option because you can simply do a fade in from black using the filters so maybe we should do something else but uh, we'll leave it at that for now that's going to do it for this video for our next video we'll be going over the all new timeline editing mode if you have any questions you can leave a comment for this video and we'll try to answer it as soon as possible and uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and that way you'll be able to stay up to date with all of our new videos about our products.